Hello beautiful beings, welcome back to Cosmically Inspired. It's been a minute since I've done an episode of Cosmically Inspired on the realm of inspiration. Uh, so a little introduction on me and uh, this series. I'm Castilia Nova Theo, the Elfian Realm Communicator. I channel the beings of inspiration, of course. And Cosmically Inspired is a series that I started um, on this YouTube channel to kind of highlight different cosmic elements and work with the cosmic Elfian elemental domain because uh, there's so much higher energy and what they work with and how they work to spread inspiration. Uh, so I wanted to create a whole series to kind of highlight that. So anytime a higher light, higher energy, higher frequency um, has a message to share, uh, it comes on Cosmically Inspired, um, as well as off just offering general education about uh, these higher light energies, uh, higher frequencies as well. In this Cosmically Inspired, we are going to be doing work with the Violet Flame, and I'm going to be channeling a Divine Masculine Cosmic Elfian Elemental uh, that works with the Violet Flame to deliver messages about the Violet Flame to you um, and hopefully offer us some guidance. I'm sensing that the Violet Flame can do a lot to help the collective all in regards to clearing um, any blockages and transmuting any energy within the inner child, emotional body, heart chakra, as well as just helping us communicate communicates uh, since it is uh, the sister frequency to the flame of truth. Um, but before we get started in that channeling, I just want to take a second to do the protections that I normally do on one-on-one -on -one sessions that I wanted to bring forth uh, into these uh, videos that are free for the collective all. So I invite you to close your eyes and kind of relax and take a few deep breaths. And we're going to call on your guardian angels and the guardian angels in general. So. Take a few deep breaths. Okay. Now visualize your guardian angels surrounding you in their wings, putting you in an invincible tube of divine light and love, keeping you safe and protected, ensuring that all messages that come forth today are for your highest good, what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, to inspire you on your journey, messages for the betterment of your ascension and the ascension of the collective all, to inspire all those who hear it directly from this video and the souls who sense the sound frequency all over the world. We're tapping in together for these messages to reach everyone and anyone who they need to reach. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes when you feel all protected and safe. Um, I want to start setting those intentions because I'm feeling like moving forward a lot more of the messages coming forth, a lot more of the things that I'm going to be doing with the Elfian realm is going to be calling um, on souls just hearing the messages, even if they can't hear it from the videos themselves because of sound frequency. And setting that intention in Cosmically Inspired um, is truly inspiring because sound frequency is a cosmic element. Uh, and so kind of highlighting the power of words and sound frequency and that it can reach us even if we're not hearing it directly. That spoken word is something that um, souls can connect with. So we can all call together. It's our heart song. Our heart songs are singing to each other. Um, so we're going to call in this uh, divine masculine energy to come forth. Cosmic Elfian Elemental from the Cosmic Elfian Elemental Domain. He's going to deliver some messages. So um, let's get, get ready for the flame, the the violet flame, so let's say the flame violet, but the uh, violet flame. Okay. When I say please step back, you may step forth. Hello, beautiful beings. I am a divine masculine cosmic Elfian elemental of the violet flame. I work directly with the violet flame energy and was born from a combination of the flower of inspiration and the violet flame. The violet flame is one of the transmutation energies. It is a transmuter of the cosmic realm. It is a sister to the flame of truth, which is a cleansing energy. And when they work together, you can transmute energy and cleanse energy. Sometimes energy needs to be cleansed and cleared. Other times it needs to be changed into something new and that's where transmutation comes in. And that is something that the violet flame is a source for, transmutation energy. 
all cleansers of the earth have some little light of the flame of truth within them. All transmuters of the earth have a little light of the violet flame within them as well. So that is, for example, rivers have a very deep connection to the violet flame. Whereas think about cleansing, um, that it would be like bodies of salt water. So seas and oceans have a little bit of the flame of truth within them. Uh, when you connect to both of those energies, you can get what you need. Sometimes you don't need cleansing, you need transmutation. It depends on what's going on, what you're trying to clear, what you're trying to release, and what phase of your journey you are in. Now, why I as a divine masculine energy stepped forth instead of uh, my divine feminine sisters that work with the violet flame uh, is because cleansing fires, transmutation fires, the fire energy is more associated with the divine masculine because it is that direct force. Sometimes you do need the subtler approach, the caregiving approach, that sensitive approach. And that's where the divine feminine cosmic elfian elementals of the fire's energy come forth to deliver soft and soothing messages. I'm delivering messages that are direct and straight to the point um, because what is needed right now in regards to the violet flame is straight transmutation. Let's go through, let's clear, transmute this energy. There's a lot of energy that is stuck and stagnant, more so the negative energy that needs to be cleared at this time. That's why the violet flame is coming through now. What we have noticed from observing you from the higher realms is that what's happening now, everyone's becoming aware of clearing and cleansing negative energy. That negative energy isn't necessarily going anywhere. It's getting cleansed and turning into gray energy, turning into stagnant energy, turning into energy that's not moving and not changing into anything new. That's why it is important to do the cleansing and then transmuting that energy, reconstituting that energy, and then sending it back to source. So going through those steps. And the violet flame really takes you through that transmuting the energy, reconstituting it, and sending it to source. The flame of truth is a great starting point that can it can take you directly all the way through. But it's gonna do that deep cleansing and more of a guiding energy, more of a protective energy, because that flame is a source of beings, a source of humans as well. It can influence our humans who are a cross between life energy and truth energy, um, human souls. Because of that, the flame of truth can't necessarily reach all the deep crevices of the earth and do all of that work in the same way because it helped create human beings that can do that work that the flame can't do on its own. Uh, sometimes source energies just can't reach the deep nitty gritty. Uh, sometimes the flame of truth is the source energy, you know, that that energy is going back to, is going back to the source of the flame of truth. It could be going back to the source of the tree of life. So it can't necessarily go through that reconstituting and returning to source. That's where the violet flame comes forth. And it can help with that transmuting, reconstituting, sending back to source. The violet flame works uh, very closely with the earth. The violet flame uh, and the earth energy are really powerful reconstitution energies. The earth itself doesn't necessarily transmute anything, it reconstitutes. But if it doesn't have that trigger to transmute the energy into something that can be reconstituted, it can't do it. And that's why there's a lot of stagnant energy going on in the earth at this time. So what is very, very important to do moving forward when you are doing clearings and cleansings is to call upon that transmutation energy of the violet flame and so how to visualize it in your mind is you're calling on the flame of truth to do that initial cleansing then the violet flame to come forth and help transmute that energy into something new take it and reconstitute it with the support of the earth and then the earth and the violet flame are going to send it up directly to source and whether that source is source of life source of, source of knowledge source of truth um, source of inspiration whatever it is going back to whatever source that energy originally came from and then got turned into something negative and dark and icky and gooey and nothing good um wh wherever it came from and then got turned into something bad it's going to go back to its original source and that source is going to decide what to do with it what to do with this new energy that reconstituting and transmuting with the violet flame will help bring it into this new energy so it's this fresh energy that's been untouched that's why it's important the cleansing just clears it away from you but it's still there and it's still in the earth and it's becoming stagnant it's not necessarily that it's been untouched it's just gray now it 
still has been touched it's still energy that doesn't know where it's supposed to go and what it's supposed to do because it's not welcome and where it originally was because it turned more negative so that transmuting it with the violet flame and that energy that gift that the violet flame can do is taking it transmuting it reconstituting it into something new sending it to source wherever it goes and that higher source sending it to higher source higher sources can decide what to do with that energy. They may decide to send it to the creator. They may decide to send it to God. They may decide to go, you know, above, below, all around. They could send it to Angelic Mother Gaia. They're gonna decide what to do with that energy and where it's supposed to go to help the flow and cycle of the positive polarities ascension in the earth and the collective reality. So where that energy goes, not necessarily important once you send it back to source, say, hey source, I'm giving you this new clear energy, this energy that's brand new, you can decide what to do with it. But then the violet flame can help bring you in return with this little little tube back to you with support of the flame of truth as well, bringing to you uh, your original energy, your source excellence. So asking source, asking your source, asking source of life, source, God, creator, bring me back my original excellence my energy because you just use some of your energy to call on the violet flame whether or not you know this is energy that you're clearing out whatever intention whatever reason you're clearing out that energy it could be from in you or in your home you're still using your energy to call on the violet flame to channel it through you uh, through your hands and calling on it to be okay we're gonna transmute we're gonna reconstitute to set that intention to put that in sound frequency you're using your energy a little bit so asking source to send you um, an infinite amount of your original excellence to recharge and revitalize you uh, so you can be ready to go about doing more work. Uh, sometimes it can be forgotten that when you're doing cleansings and clearings and transmutations that um, and reconstitutions, that you do use your energy to do that. And it can help to just have a little bit of that recharge to ground you. Asking, you know, for your original source excellence and then going ground in the earth, connect with your earth star and give thanks to the violet flame, the flame of truth, the earth and all higher lights and higher beings. That gratitude for the transmutation and reconstitution process is sending more love and light to the process of reconstituting to the process of transmutation and to the process of letting go of stagnity to the process of creating new energy. So the violet flame is kind of feeling like that's the, the last thing that uh, she wants to share through me to all of you. Um, if there's any other messages in regards to the violet flame energy, I think that that's it. Um, the violet flame is also, you know, color frequency wise uh, connected to the mental body. Um, but can do a lot of work to help with healing um, the uh, heart center and the inner child. Uh, can do a lot of work in helping you communicate um, because it can help clear your mental body. So the violet flame is very much a flame associated with the mental body. Um, it's also associated with ascension and can help you on your ascension path. It quite literally helps ascend energy um, into something new. So it is like an ascension flame and a flame you can call on when you're going through um, different parts of your ascension journey. It's a very clearing energy, very clearing energy. I'm um, helping clear the mind. And I'm doing these gesturing is because kind of what the violet flame does with your mental body is it creates um, the Greek omega sign. It'll come through and it'll go around and through and it creates this like sign above your head, um, kind of showing that it is bringing your energy to kind of this like plateaued place where it's stabilized. It honors your ascension and your wisdom and your growth and helps stabilize you within yourself so you can communicate better um, and so you can feel and understand your emotions better. Uh, so it can help within you too and is a very powerful energy to just call to move through your five body system and through your chakra system to bring alignment um, and to help ground you as well. You can visualize it entering the top of your head and creating that shape and moving all the way down to your feet and helping you ground into the earth. Um, just to continuously reconstitute any stagnant energy um, just giving more love and gratitude to the process of having energy that is um, 
untouched over energy that is stagnant, um, higher energy that has the potential to do more, and that's going to help the collective all ascend. Uh, that's what's kind of blocking the collective all right now is that there is a lot of clearing and cleansing and lightworkers doing that work um, and just like sending it wherever, but not going through the process of setting the intention to transmute, reconstitute, and send to source. You think, I just send to the earth, the earth knows what to do, um, but sometimes you, you do need to say that and you do need to call on it because there's just a lot of stagnant energy in general um, that's ready to be to ascend into something new and it can't ascend into something new without you giving permission to it because you're the one who banished it away from you you're the one who cleared and cleansed it away um, and right now it doesn't know what to do and it's just sticking and it's stagnant so you're the one who has the power to change it into something new and give it to source source can decide what to do with it but you have the power within you to call on these higher lights to assist you in turning it into something new and that can really help you free yourself from the past because you're clearing that stagnant energy um, that may be lingering around your home or around you in general around your auric field taking it and turning it into something new and then source is sending your original energy back to you that can help you heal and be ready for the future but also help you focus on the present moment stagnant energy doesn't let you focus on the present moment it tries to pay the pa play the past on a loop and the violet flame can help free you from that as well so that is uh he just was kind of like okay goodbye as well goodbye um sometimes i say goodbye sometimes i don't say goodbye <laughs> goodbye on behalf of them uh thank you thank you um i didn't see many visuals other than just like the direct process of what transmutation and reconstitution looks like i would say it was about four months ago where i started transmuting energy um as opposed to just clearing and cleansing it and sending it to the earth and you know whatever because it can be so easy to just disregard it. And I didn't realize um, how much stagnant energy there was. I used to feel like when I would go to lakes and rivers, uh, the energy is just stagnant, it's not moving. Um, when in reality, they do hold the power within them, specifically rivers, lakes not as much, but rivers more so to transmute energy. And when I was feeling like there's so much stagnant energy around these fresh bodies of water, it was because of the fact that I was personally feeling that I had that stagnant energy within me. These fresh bodies of water were showing me that I had stagnant energy within me. And that's why that's the first thought that I had when I was around them. They were trying to tell me it's time to transmute. It's trying time to reconstitute but I wasn't open to understanding that yet I was very much just like cleanser 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 and because I have more of a cleansing energy and just the things that I do and I hadn't opened myself up to transmuting energy um but with doing work with of course the new course that is going to be available very 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 soon like uh, hoping that by the start of Leo season uh so if you're not subscribed to the email list I'll link in the description because it will be going out in my monthly newsletter once it is available as soon as it's available that monthly newsletter is going to be sent and uh, the link to access that course um um, so with that turning your home to a sacred space course I had to update a lot of what I was taught in regards to home cleansing to add that transmutation aspect um, I'm still working on it the course is incomplete I'm still working on it and still working on adding that transmutation energy um, so because I feel more connected to the flame of truth doesn't mean that I can't work with the violet flame and vice versa so they work together there's no part of the process that isn't important it's all important um and we don't want to neglect parts of the process because when we do that we then we have to go back and redo things again and we don't want to you know I as always don't want to touch the same thing twice once you've already like let it go um you don't you know want to do the same thing twice you've already done like you already painted your room you don't have to paint it again because you missed a spot because you're like oh it's not going to matter but now that's all i can see um and so the same thing in regards to transmuting and clearing energy uh you don't want to just leave some stagnant um untouched part um unclear unchanged part uh time you know time to let it ascend too we want to ascend but um when we're not allowing other energy to ascend as well we're not giving it that space to grow and change um then we can't really ascend either so thank you for joining me for this uh cosmically inspired um episode on with a violet flame let me know if there's any other flame energy that you want like a dedicated video about i know i kind of want to do something with a golden rainbow fire at some point um and the other higher light energy 
also let me know if you want any dedicated video about source energy as well um because there are other sources than just our source uh, there's a lot of source energy uh there is uh, a term called the legion of 13 sources which is a um, congregation of higher source energy um, that all works together um, to facilitate um, eternal loving friendships between all beings uh, so that is within the cosmic realm as well technically um, so cosmically inspired doesn't just have to be about the elfian realm um, because they can speak on anything that they see in the cosmos so really open to requests and any questions and um, I'm now going to start you know being more dedicated to these videos and creating you know courses um, creating affordable courses and um, having some free content as well as the paid courses so let me know what you'd like to see um, and any of those things the elves love questions um, so please ask uh, until next time stay inspired sending you love light and inspiration may the petals of the flower of inspiration lead you back to um, the elfian realm again and uh, to uh, the realm of inspiration in general goodbye for now